Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiggy and thank you so much for coming back. So today I'm here with a another what I eat in a day video and yeah I've already made some oat flour. I'm thinking of making pancakes. Hey guys, so as you can see I'm peeling a banana and I'm mashing it using a fork. Mash, 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 and then I'm adding some salt, adding some maple syrup, or you can also add some honey if you want. Then I added some plant based milk, like soy milk, add some apple cider vinegar, it tries to like place an egg. Then I added some cinnamon powder, mix that up, and then I add some um, what's oat flour, oat flour, three cups of oat flour. I'm really happy I can make my own flour, you guys. It's it's cool, <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's also gluten free, by the way. So if you don't love gluten, it's like really amazing. And then, wow, well, it looks so dry, <laughs> you guys. And then I added some safe raising flour. I think it's so important. Then I also try to mix all that up, and then I add some canola oil. Then I'm heating a pan with some canola oil so that i can cook my pancakes it was a little bit um difficult though because it was so dry you guys i didn't i don't know how i was in like seeing that <laughs> so anyways i tried to cook that as you can see i'm trying to flatten that up but it's so not working out but anyway like honestly it was nice it was really nice it just it's not it does not look appetizing or appealing but it was really nice so i then decided to add some more milk and more surprising flour into the mixture and then now it's a good consistent it's so pouring i love it i'm happy now i'm going to like add the receipt on the description below look at that guys i love when i see bubbles on top it's been just like really cooking inside then i'm going to flip that up they look amazing you guys i'm so proud of myself <laughs> and then i topped that up with some sliced bananas and some peanut butter because i didn't have like a uh, honey to, to drizzle on top um and then i sprinkled with some sesame seeds and flax seeds for the aesthetics <laughs> it looks amazing and it was really delicious of course and i even i didn't even finish those almonds and then for like late this was like late lunch late lunch i had some lentils cooked lentils cucumber some spinach and beetroot and some avocado and some carrots it looks plant but i enjoyed it guys hi guys so this is my supper slash lunch like this is my second meal in the day okay i did have some snacks then there of my pancakes left over pancakes but yes this is my Um, I am rushing somewhere. I'm trying to make a video over here, another cooking video, and then I'm going to have some. And I am going, I think this is my last meal 
here at home this week uh, so the rest of the video will be when i'm at my thing somewhere else so now i'm going to make my breakfast i'm making some oats over there yeah And then for lunch, I ate this lentil curry receipt that I actually did post it. So please do check it out. I'll put down the link in the description below. So yes, it was amazing. So for supper, I made a very quick pasta meal with some cauliflower, tomato, onion, and green pepper. It was so quick and really delicious. I served it with some snails and avocado, and then also with a very small salad. And then for breakfast, I made a smoothie with all those fruits like stuff like papaya, celery, cucumber, and some apples with some milk guys i love watching this it's like i'm making some ice cream or something <laughs> and then i ate uh these two buns i think i can call them buns uh a friend made it for me it was so delicious i ate it with some peanut butter it was really nice Very nice out with my best friend we ate some potato chips and some pizza and some lemon hot top slices it was amazing <laughs>
Okay, so for lunch, I decided to make some beans. I defrosted some beans, then added some onion, tomatoes, celery, green pepper, and some spices. Then I made a little cute salad over there with some cucumber, avocado, onion, and tomatoes. And then I steamed some broccoli, added some black pepper and salt, and then I added some brown rice. It was a really nice, wholesome balanced lunch i really enjoyed it and i also added some mayonnaise on top i thought it was going to look cute but nah <laughs> morning very trying to get myself some vitamin C I don't know about you guys but to me it's so difficult to eat fruit or raw vegetables when it's cold I'm literally forcing myself right now okay? but the orange was really nice Now I'm going to eat my porridge. E in my belly. Yeah, so come. Yes, so come. Bye. So for lunch I was making these amazing lentil veggie like black lentil veggie stew I am so proud of myself like this was like amazing I actually wanted to make this as a separate video but I think there's a certain footage that I lost so but it was so amazing you guys so here okay anyway I'm going to add a recipe at the description below oh my goodness there are a lot of things i'm going to add the description below but yes i'm going to add this receipt down there it was really really like really amazing i hope you're going to try it <laughs> oh anyway i think this is the last clip and thank you so much for watching you guys i really hope i'm going to see you in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe please guys <laughs>